My favorite Power Nine principle is the 80% rule. My favorite Power Nine is family first. My favorite Power Nine principle is move naturally. My favorite Power Nine principle is family first. Plants land. Right tribe. Downshift. Move naturally. Know my purpose. Family first. My favorite Power Nine is move naturally. The right tribe. It's family first. The one that I really identify with is the Know Your Purpose. My favorite Power Nine is the Power of Purpose. Our, Our favorite, favorite Power Nine principle, principle is Move Naturally. Moving naturally is, is important because it's important just to, to be active. You don't, you know, sometimes people, they, they want to work out, but they, they feel like, oh, I got to, you know, prepare for a marathon, where, where really it's just about getting up and moving around, walking your dog, going for walks with your wife, connecting with other people in, the, in your, your neighborhood or your community. I'm a coordinator for the walking school bus, and that means that I walk a group of children to school every day. With the program, it sort of highlights the fact that we all live close enough that we should be walking. And it's actually a really great bonding time because, you know, Connor and I get to talk about the stuff that's coming up, things that happened at school, or... And all the other kids get to talk with their parents and you get to bring the dog. I know some of the other kids that walk have said that they're really tired and walking wakes them up, which helps them at school. It puts a smile on everybody's face. Sometimes the little kids aren't so smiling when they walk out the front door, but by the time we get to school, everybody is smiling and ready to start the day. Zico Beverages is a great natural fit with Blue Zones. We wanted to encourage people to move naturally throughout the day, so we have branded Zico bikes and Zico scooters. We have stretchy bands that um, allow you to stretch out your neck and shoulders during you know, when you're stressed out at your computer. Personally, the principle that resonates most is know your purpose. I remember the first time I saw that, I was trying to figure out what Blue Zones and the Beach City Health District was all about, and I thought maybe it was a hospital. I didn't really know what was going on. And then I heard that know your purpose, and I thought, huh, that's something a little different. And so that is one that resonates with me, being in public service makes me wake up each day as, as knowing my purpose and, and trying to help others. My purpose is about empowering women and that's something that I try and do in my life all the time. And I see that in our community, people having this commitment to having a reason to get up in the morning and having that be something that makes your life healthier and happier. The thing that's most helpful is probably to try and get a better sense of who you are and uh, I think a lot of people don't spend much time thinking about those sorts of things. Purpose is something that changes. It's like a journey, I believe. Uh, you have a very physical, important purpose when you're raising a family because your purpose is really not what inspires you, but what's necessary. I think as you age, you begin to find the things that really give you excitement day to day. And I think by testing the waters, by volunteering in a variety of places, you begin to find those kinds of things that sort of are you. Well, I was really excited when the community introduced the Blue Zones project because as a um, the marketing director at South Bay Galleria, I was really looking at ways to make healthy choices easy choices. By eating more plants, it forced me to pay attention to how I eat because most places, uh, most of our menus aren't geared towards plants, 90% plants. And so it really forced me to explore how I eat, pay attention to the details, and to really appreciate food and its taste in a whole new way. Uh, not only have we reduced the amount of meat, red meat that we eat and added more fish to our menu at home, but uh, we've also added vegetables like kale that I would have never had before and really enjoy the way Irv cooks it <laughs> uh, since I can't cook. I was quite pleasantly surprised to see wine at five on the list. Um, I thought, well, that's a nice change, because normally people are saying, oh, stay off a drink and that. But, but yes, it is nice to have just a little glass in the evening, just to, just to wind down. You know, the right tribe uh, really appeals to me. I, I play basketball every Monday uh, with our staff at the high school for two hours. You have a, an escape, a healthy escape from the stresses of, of, of daily life. Right now I've been really associating myself with people who are supportive of my fitness goals and I've been really working to improve my, my health. So 
Abby's one of those people in my tribe. The Seventh Adventist Church uh, and the group in Loma Linda represents uh, a majority of people who are vegetarian and who have a real interest in health. That's one of the tenants. And so I'm really happy to see a large number of the, the church congregation members attending our health outreach uh, events and participating. Favorite part of our nine is family first. Our band is, is called Chocolate Moon. Moon. I like playing with my family. Having these kinds of principles as the way we live our lives every day makes a huge difference in being happier and healthier.